guys and welcome to my channel Sweet Pink Home. I'm Elizabeth and thanks so much for joining me. Today I have my special guest, my daughter. Hi. This is Emma Mariah and she's eight. And this is her little stuffed dog. What's your dog's name? Whiskers. Whiskers. Anyway guys, Whiskers. so Whiskers is out of here and we'll see you later Emma Mariah. <laughs> so anyway guys, <laughs> thanks so much for joining me today. I wanted to show with you my winter capsule wardrobe and if you haven't already make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also don't forget to subscribe but um I made a video a few weeks ago I believe about how I go through my process of my capsule wardrobe and I will link that video down below so you can see how I figure that out and also the reasons I decided to go back to my capsule wardrobe because I realized that Life is a lot easier with a capsule, at least for me. It's not for everybody, but I know for me. And if you don't even know what a capsule wardrobe is, I'm going to link that down below as well. But check out that other video too, the three reasons why I really love my capsule wardrobe. And you might want to try it out for yourself if you haven't already. So I wanted to start with um, my shoes that I have my, for my capsule wardrobe. I have my Skechers, which I really like to wear on days that I walk and stuff like that. And then I have my black boots here that I really love with with the um, buckles. I couldn't think of what they were called. <laughs> and then I have my brown boots here that um, I really like because you can change the look of them. You can zip them up. Or you can leave them with this. And then last but not least, I have these really cute gray heeled shoes. And um, I'm going to link all this stuff down below so you guys know what brands they are. And this dress that I'm wearing is part of my capsule as well. And if you haven't seen that video, guys, I will link that video down below. It was a dress that my husband found for me at Goodwill for date night, so it was super fun. And I'm gonna start out from the inside, or the outside end, so to speak. And I wear a lot of scarves, especially during the winter, because I'm always cold. I'm cold all the time, but, um, so this is my pink one, my gray one, and my black one. And my black one is probably my favorite, because it actually has a hood on it. And then I have my jacket here that I really like. It's a button-up one. And I only have two jackets for the winter because, quite frankly, those are the warmest jackets that I have. I did have a black pea coat, but I decided to get rid of it because it kept getting, like, hair all over it, and I couldn't get it to go away. And then I recently purchased this at a Goodwill outlet store. And I really like it because it's nice and warm. It's gray just like the other one. And it um, zips and then velcros and buttons as well. And then I have my pants, my leggings, and then my floral pants that I really love when I want to add color to an outfit. And then I have my jeggings and some jeans here that I really like. Oh, you're not saving it. You're not saving it. As you can see, I have my pants on a black hanger and all the rest on a white or a pink hanger. And if you haven't checked out that video yet, um, check it out, it's how I organize my closet. It's kind of different, but it works for me. And then I have this beautiful um, floral dress here. It's like a mustard yellow, I really love it. And then I have this striped gray and white dress that I actually wear year round. It works for every season for the most part. And I seem to really like stripes when it comes to dresses. I have these other two dresses as well. And they don't have any sleeves on the top of them, but 
they're really good for like every season because you can take these dresses and like I'll share with you here my sweater and take the sweater and put it on top and you have like a magical all of a sudden you have a skirt with this instead of just a dress so there's this sweater that I really love and then this gray with the roses sweater I was actually going to not put this in my capsule, but I chose to because I really like it. And then I got my gray um, plum purple and striped long sleeve. And then I got this sweater here that I really like. It has a lot of detail. That's what I like about it. It's a really pretty knitted sweater. And then this one I just recently got. It's so pretty, you guys. I love this color. And look at the back. Isn't that cute? And it's not very long. That's what I like about it. But the sleeves are extra long. Which is my favorite part, actually. Besides the back, the sleeves. I really like the sleeves. Because I like the ones that cover your hands. Yeah, I like them too. And then I have this black and white shirt with... Um, the elbow pad looking things it's really cool but the back is my favorite you guys check that out with the little ribbons so cute and then I have one that's similar with the green and the elbows striped but no really fancy back and it's extra long as opposed to this one that's kind of shorter I just love it it's so cute and then I have my two floral dresses here well I have one on this one and then I have this one it's maroon with the roses and then I have my blue with the purple roses and then this one is just a plain back black um, knitted dress it's super cute and it's really good for the winter because it keeps you super warm and then I got this, which I got for my birthday, which was in February. I don't normally wear flannel, but I do like this. And then my last two pieces here. And I don't normally wear collared shirts, but I decided to take a leap of faith and try it out. Try to do some different styling with those collared shirts. So I'm going to do another video about collared shirts i did one with this video already and so I'm a, i'll link that down below um but anyway i want to do another one that showcases both of these so I look forward to that you guys and i just want to say thank you so much for viewing my videos and taking the time out of your day to check out my videos i hope it inspires somebody out there to hopefully look into capsule wardrobes if you haven't already and um just be encouraged to maybe try it if you haven't but um i'm not saying that you have to but it definitely changed my life and it certainly helps a lot when it comes to getting dressed because um i am a stay-at-home mom and even though it doesn't seem like it's a hard job it really is when it comes down to managing all my children and picking out what I'm going to wear. If, when I have a closet full of stuff, it makes it extremely hard to find something um, real quick and just get ready and feel good and spark joy and that sort of thing in what you wear. And so what's not included in my capsule, by the way, is my pajamas and my tank tops. I wear a lot of tank tops underneath my clothes. So those things are not included as well as my workout stuff I don't really have anything that's really designated as workout per se I mean I kind of do like t-shirts and stuff but for the most part I don't have a capsule for that but anyway guys like I said I hope you're encouraged by this video and check out the links down below to maybe help you on what a capsule is and how it works and that sort of thing because I have a lot of resources in that regards if you want to try a capsule if you haven't already and so I'm Ryan you want to say bye so, my whisker, my, whiskers wants. Oh, yeah, whiskers do. <laughs> so, guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. Be blessed, and I will see you on Tuesday. I make a video every Tuesday and every Thursday. 
Um, Tuesday is more about mom life and that sort of thing because obviously that is a huge part of my life. And Thursday is about that.